Yo, what's up guys, Campy Lee here, and I want to just go over my rendering settings so you guys can get some of the best quality on YouTube. I got a comment once saying, is this next-gen gameplay? I don't even have a next-gen console, I still use my Xbox 360. I think you guys can tell that by how I'm playing State of Decay, GTA 5, and everything else. So yeah, it's just my render set, rendering settings. I'm going to show you guys how to get pretty much some of the best quality on YouTube, and you guys can copy these settings down right here, and it's pretty much how to get the best settings, and then I'm going to go into a few other things that help my videos just look very good so here it is guys pause the video if you need to alright so here's some of the good stuff that you guys need pixel format 8-bit and you guys want this to be on the best full resolution rendering quality on the best motion blur Gaussian or Gaussian whatever you want to say Gaussian that's how I say it the interlace method none uncheck this box right here check this box right there and then push ok you guys can go over these settings I'm gonna go over them your width should be 1280 your height should be 720 field order none pixel aspect ratio 1 square your output rotation 0 frame rate 59.940 double NTSC and yeah stereoscopic 3d I don't know why I'm reading that like I've never seen it that should be turned off so you guys can push ok actually don't do what I just did go to your audio this should this should be I don't know if yours is gonna be this put it at 44 one 100 your bit rate 16 and then keep everything else the same resample and stretch quality best so I, no, that's it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, we're going to go over here. We're going to add a video. So this is the, the gameplay that I use for tracking Campy, the start. And so we're just going to add this in here. And you guys can see those black bars right there. No one really likes to see black bars, so I have it saved. You guys just need to crop those out, all right? So I have it right here under YouTube. And I can see where I messed up. So in my video tracking Campy, uh, if you guys see that... Uh, the bottom bars. I'm sorry for that. I was not paying attention. So that just shows how careless you can be sometimes. And. Yep. Hold on. We're just going to click there. And actually, never mind. I know what was wrong with that. I looked like an idiot there. You just want to go over here, right click, and then go to properties and go to disable resample and check reduce interlace flicker and uncheck maintain aspect ratio and that should go away so actually I was wrong there alright so color curves just to make it look nice you guys want to drag a color curves this is mine so you guys can see this all I did was pretty much bring it up and then bring it down for the top and I'm gonna uncheck this one so I can show you guys another one that I made the one that I called YouTube I did this and this is the one I like to use the one that's actually called YouTube not YT so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag a default on there that's pretty much what you guys are gonna do I'm gonna drag it all the way down just a bit to where it's dark and then I'm gonna bring it up again make sure you guys are on RGB as well then bring it up a bit and you guys can adjust that to how you want it and now what I like to do is I like to go to color corrector you don't have to do this but I named mine YT and that's pretty much how I get some of that good quality now if you guys notice a blue tint on my videos that's the color correction so what you do is you just drag I dragged it double so I'm gonna uncheck one of them and you guys just copy these settings here you adjust it how you want it alright guys you don't have to copy this completely and then what I like to do to make it like nice and sharp and beautiful I like to go on to the video effects and I just look for sharp sharp and there it is I like I don't know why I'm looking at these settings like I've never seen them I have YT and YouTube so YT is what I usually use but YouTube is the one that I use on my other videos so let's cha change this up to full and you guys can see how you can actually see the um the kill feed now when I was wanting to do YouTube I was like I always need it I want a capture card where people can read the names on the kill feed because when I started off I was using something called an easy capture and it was so bad anyway guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to render as make sure to click that and yeah so I have mine set as YouTube with a smiley face and all you want to do is you want to go up look for this main concept um, main concept AVC and pretty much internet it's the internet settings here you get got it right here so mine are set to show favorite only so when you go when you uncheck that if you have any favorites you just look for main concept AVC AAC MP4 AVC so what you want to click on 
is uh, pretty much the internet HD 720 and if you want 1080p that's your choice uh, so what you want to do is you want to click that but I already have it clicked so make sure you click 720 or whatever you want we're gonna go over to mine customize template what you guys want to do is name the template I said template you want to name the template uh, whatever you want make sure to name it alright guys you can have notes if you want anyway make sure to check include video I know it should be checked but if yours isn't please check that because and then you would have obviously have no video frame rate you want to keep it as HD 720 1080p or 1280 times 720 my bad profile main frame rate 29 and you can't get 59 so you just want to click 29 um, keep that uh, fill order none pixel aspect ratio one number of reference reference frames two and variable variable bit rate make sure that's checked maximum make sure that's 14 million and that the average is 14 million as well and how I get my videos to render very freaking quick all right guys I want I click render using CUDA all right and pretty much your computer would be using a CPU if you want CPU that works fast for you fine but if you want pretty quick faster than CPU click CUDA alright so I have that clicked and now we're gonna go over to where it says audio sample rate 48,000 bit rate 128,000 and then make sure that's checked include audio make sure you have that checked don't uncheck it we're gonna go over to system check GPU open CL is available so that's how you know if you have a GPU and render using your GPU if you want format mp4 mp4 don't use this I don't know what that is make sure it's mp4 project best and everything else the same press ok then you can render that video up and there you go so yeah guys that's pretty much my video so I'm gonna go ahead and open uh, the video that just got done rendering you guys can see that I make my videos in all the same day and yeah let me mute it because you guys would be able to hear it through my mic I make a lot of videos in the same day and then upload them as the week goes on so yeah see it looks pretty bad here but on YouTube it will look pretty good I might go and fix this up actually uh, but you guys can see no actually this does this is this is how it looks I don't know why it looks like this on that on like this um, Windows thing but when it's on YouTube it will look way better than get this guys trust me you make your settings how you want and it will look good thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed my render settings thanks for watching I'm out